Hello guys, fanscub 2 here and today I'm bringing you the first Mountman Gaming tutorial which will be on how to adapt the display in Switar so that it is working correctly. You can get a problem with display in Switar as it doesn't seem to naturally adapt to when you change resolution of your display, such as when you get a new monitor or a new graphics card and it's automatically changed the resolution or that you need to um, adapt to a new resolution. Now many games will just load in a default display which will allow you to go into the settings and edit it appropriately. However Sator seems to have a lot of problems if you do make a large monitor change like I have recently um, and I found that when I loaded up Sator um, it loaded in the left corner over here and I could only see the uh, side of the box so there was no way I could go into the game and actually change the display settings which is a problem because obviously then it can't adapt to the new monitor settings. So, um, I've seen a number of ways people have tried to fix this online um, and there's a lot to do with going into properties or troubleshooting, stuff like that, but I, find, I found that the simplest way to do it is um, just going into App Data. So you want to type, um, it's the same on Windows 7, Windows Vista, except you just go into the Start menu, search, uh, search bar and type percentage sign, app data, percentage sign there. Um, then you want to go into App Data, Local. Uh, move down to Spator, move into Spator again, settings, and then you'll find this file, this any file here called client underscore settings. You want to open that and you'll find that um, your height settings, uh, height there, and your width settings down here may be different to um, the native height and native width here. For instance, after doing some troubleshooting options, I had something like a value of 120 height um, and a width of 60 which meant that when I actually loaded the game it did just load off to the corner completely away from where I could actually access it so you want to the native height and native width want to be set to um, what your monitor setting is might be in 1080 or 1600 by something that there's a number whatever your native monitor settings are find the resolution for that and then set this to it now my native height and native width were already set to 1080 and 1920 but um, as far as these high values were they weren't actually set to that so you need to just change that to your um, native height as well you can copy the values across if they were already at the correct size um, and this is changing to that and then just you want to just save the file close it off um, go to your game open it up Login. Play load, and then um, once you cl click play, it should load fine in the uh, normal resolution, and your game should open up in the correct size. So let's hope that happens. And come on, there you go. I think it. Yep, it's done it. There, working fine, as you can see. So. That's basically the tutorial guys, I hope that works for everyone that tries that out, if you've had any display problems, um, if there's any details you just want to ask about, please contact me uh, through messages on YouTube or email us at marked-man-games at live.co.uk. Okay, thanks for watching, this is getting loud now! Okay, so I'm going to go now guys, um, I'm just going to quit this. I will say before I go, one of the reasons that I actually um, came across this is because soon I am, me and Jake, even though it's been years since the game's come out, uh, and we did get it actually back when it came out, played it for a bit then, but due to a lot of recent updates we actually really like how the game is now. So we're going to be doing a Swator gameplay very soon, me and Jake, possibly some more people who play Swator with us, um, we've actually got a guild on it now and we're looking forward to the guild flagships that are coming up in August. So. We are going to be doing a video on Switar. Hope you guys look forward to that. That's basically where I went ahead and did this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. Fancy Camp 2. Goodbye.